Welcome back to Basky House Vintage. My name is Kristen. Today, we are picking up some items from Facebook Marketplace and shopping at Pennies on the Dollar, which is an indoor flea market. All right, so I got my Facebook Marketplace score. You want to get a sneak peek? Here we go. Blue bird of happiness. Look at that. And that's not all. It's little lovebirds. All right, we are back at Pennies on the Dollar in Lebanon, Maine. Today, I have my two little munchkins with me. So, let's see how this goes. This is the booth where I got the little rose tea wade figurines last time. This is cool. Davy Crockett, and it still has its cottage cheese lid. You don't usually see that. That's very cool. This is where I got them. I didn't get this dolphin last time, but I think I will go ahead and get it this time. It's a cool little tin. That thing right there. That was a light. Oh, that's what you were saying when you said trash. I was like, why is she saying something is trash? Yeah. <laughs> no, I was like, I said that this trash can is bad. Because there's a real trash can in here, too. Oh. I see. Yes, there is. Make sure Grouch, for, grouch isn't hiding inside. Off for the Grouch. He's hiding in there! No. Oh, look. There's a kitty planter. Can I get to it, kids? He's, he's, he's not hiding this is in there. thrifting with two small children. Do you like clowns, Cooper? Yeah, but that's a scary clown. <laughs> Look at that up there. I see a fire truck up there. Mm. Up in the sky, there's a fire truck. There's a fire truck. These are in nice. The sky. I saw a dinosaur. Let me get that one. Maybe I'll get that one too. I have a bunch of these to resell, but I think I'm going to keep collecting them and I can have one big sale. These are old vanity um, cream cleanser milk glass jars. I picked one up like this last time I was here but I haven't tried to sell it yet, so I don't know how it does. I did hit it with my black light and it does glow. Still thinking about this. Maybe I should just get it. $8. What'd you guys find? Fridge! He, and he said he's so Christmas. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Troll down! 
troll down. Police department troll. Says Japan. That's pretty cool. I don't know. Oh, it's a light. I wonder if it works. <laughs> what is this? Famous dispenser of cures and graduate. Physician. Oh my goodness. My children. There they are. No running! We are getting to the end here, which means my children I might be expiring in the background. Ooh, there's some flower frogs here. Not priced for a resale, which is fine. I have a bunch. A fairy lamp. Okay. What else do we got? Open the tea bag and then we find cool. And really And there's that one eyed kitty again. Oh, this is really cool. Resin with the wooden utensils inside of it for the kiddos. <laughs> and now we got pizza to take home for lunch. We got it at Darlene's in Lebanon, Maine. And this is a white pizza which is my daughter's favorite pizza. Num, num, num. This is our cat, Giles. He's 12 years old, and it looks like he'll be helping us. Hi, Giles. All right, so first I'm going to show you the birds that I got from the Facebook Marketplace score. I love these two little blue birds of happiness on a heart and this blue bird of happiness. These are all signed Leo Ward. Now, this Ron Ray Cardinal is a flashed on red and unfortunately does definitely have um, some loss in, in paint. I also got this green bird ooh, and um, this more sort of muted blue bird and an amber bird and a clear bird. And none of these are marked, um, but they are lovely little additions to your glass bird or your glass animal collection. So now I'm going to talk about the finds from pennies on the dollar. My kiddos were with me and that's pretty normal in my life. I am a small business mama with a four and a seven year old and they usually are with me when I'm yard sailing, thrifting, antiquing, at auctions, all of it. So um, let me know in the comments if you often have little ones with you too. It definitely makes things a little, a little more tricky and lively. Um, all right, so I got this cookie jar here and this is a raccoon. He's marked Japan, thought he was really neat. I wanna let you know that if you're interested in any of these items that I'm giving you a little preview of, you're welcome to email me. You can email me at basekeyhousevintage at gmail.com or you can find me on Instagram at basekeyhousevintage and just reach out and I will let you know if any of these items are still available. I loved this sign. It says famous dispenser of cures and graduate physician and it's a thermometer. It is marked 
Yorkcraft 1967 on the back from York, Pennsylvania. I'm probably going to keep this for my space. I really like it. All right, next I got these two bud vase pitchers. I thought these were really cool with this sort of drip pottery look and you know MCM design. So I picked those up for you all. Uh, I got this little Napco planter. It is, um, what's really cool about it is it still has the flower shop um, sticker on it, Welch's flower shop. And I just thought he was sweet, so I picked him up. This little figurine I've seen when I've gone a couple of times and she never has a price on her. So this time I um, asked and um, they went ahead and reached out to the vendor so that I could get her. I don't know, I'm guessing maybe she would hold matches or matchboxes, but let me know if you think um, there's something else that she would have held. She is marked Made in Japan, and I think she's just a darling. I love milk glass, and I love old, you know, apothecary type of items. So I did pick up two of these um, old milk glass cream cleanser they have all sorts of things but little jars this one does say ponds on the bottom I have a whole bunch of these already that I need to list um, but I just keep picking them up because for some reason I just really like them all right check out this donkey <laughs> he's so kitty cute um, he's marked as being a dream pet he does look like a dream pet but I don't know if he is I'm not an expert in dream pets so I'm gonna have to look into it Feel free to let me know if you can tell right away. I uh, usually see the Dankin Dream Pet tag on Dream Pets and Dankin items, but I'm not sure. Either way, I thought he was cute. Um, or she, perhaps, wearing this little hat with flowers, marked Made in Japan. All right, I did find a fairy lamp there. This is actually only my second fairy lamp. That didn't sound very good, did it? Mm -mm. Um, so this style, um, this is the first time I have found this style and it's obviously clear in really good condition and it will just have a beautiful glow for you when you put a candle or an artificial candle in it. So this beautiful glass, I would assume Swan was there last time I went and I really liked it, but I didn't pick it up. I did this time because it really is just gorgeous, a gorgeous pink. And I thought maybe y'all would like that. Same with this blue glass dolphin. I didn't grab it last time. I did grab it this time because it is so cute and precious and it needs to head to its forever home. And the last item I did get from Pennies on the Dollar was this lovely little glass mouse I think I think it's a mouse what do you think I think it's a mouse right look at those ears and um, that little nose pretty cute isn't it I love the details in the glass all right so thank you so much for watching again feel free to reach out if you are interested in any of these items a lot of them will be coming at you through um, my Instagram sales and my newsfeed or the live sales I do there, or perhaps some live sales here on YouTube. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, leave a comment letting me know what your favorite find was, or if um, there's something you've never seen before, and subscribe to Basic House Vintage. Thanks so much. Until next time.